very good morning students today in eighth standard we are going to learn making life worthwhile making life worthwhile it is your memory poem let us see about the poet george eliot george eliot she is a female poet she is a female poet even the name is given george eliot in the male name her full name was mary and evans mary and evans mary and evans was the full name born in the year 1819 born in the year 1819 and died in the year 1880 she was known by her pen name called george eliot her pen name called george eliot she was an english novelist she was an english novelist poet journalist translator and she is one of the leading writers she is one of the leading writers in the victorian era she wrote seven novels totally she has written seven novels making life worthwhile is the best novel of among all of us okay let us see the memory poem making life worthwhile every soul that touches yours every soul that touches yours be it the slightest contact be it the slightest contact get them from some good get them from some good some little grace some little grace one kindly thought one kindly thought one aspiration one aspiration yet unfit one bit of courage one bit of courage for the darkening sky for the darkening sky one gleam of faith one gleam of faith to brave the thickening hills of fire to brave the thickening hills of fire one glimpse of brighter sky one glimpse of brighter skies to make this life worthwhile to make this life worthwhile and heaven a silver heritage written by george eliot so now let us see the hard words grace grace means elegance or charm elegance or charm aspiration aspiration means hope hope or ambition hope or ambition courage bravery or valor bravery or valor next gleam gleam means shine brightly shine brightly gleam see quick look gleam see means quick look what 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 why what why means variable or purpose last one heritage in heritage in heritage let us see the explanation every soul that touches yours so each and every soul that touches your heart be it the slightest contact be it the slightest contact so have a slightest contact with the person who have a good soul get there from some good one get there from some good some little grace one kindly thought so from that person we need to take a good things we need to take a good things from the good soul some little grace grace na karuna or charm or elegance so one kindly thought one kindly thought one aspiration yet unfed so whether it may be a hope or ambition or desire or wish whatever it may be if it is not fulfilled if it is not fulfilled we need to keep in the thought so one has to keep in the mind that 
some little grace and one kindly thought. From one aspiration yet unfelt, one bit of courage. Courage means bravery or valor. One bit of courage for the darkening sky. For the dark sky. One leap of faith. Faith na nambika. A person should have faith even though the life seems to be very dark. Life seems to be very dark. A person should have a gleam of faith to brave the thickening ills of life. Ills means we should not think it as fever. Here it is the sad or sorrowful moment in life. To brave the thickening ills of life. A man or a human must face his life in a brave manner. One glimpse of brighter skies. So glimpse means a quick look. A quick look of brighter skies to make this life worthwhile. So always a person should lead a happy life and it should be a meaningful life. So you should lead a valuable life and heaven a certain heritage. So heaven, heaven na sorga. So he need to live his life in inheritance. Okay. So written by George Eliot. So once again I repeat, every soul that touches yours, be it the slightest contact. So you need to keep a slight contact with the person who is good. Get there from some good. We need to grab the good qualities, the good attitude from the others. Some little grace, one kindly thought. We should have a charm and elegant spread, a kindly thought towards the life. One aspiration yet unfelt. So whether it may be a hope or ambition or desire, we may forget. We may forget. We need to think. We need to think. One bit of courage. So even though there is hopeless, there should be a bravery. There should be a valor towards the light. For the darkening sky, even though the light seems to be very dark, so we should have a broad-mindedness that a light will shine brightly. One gleam of faith. Gleam means shining brightly. To brave the thickening ills of life. So whatever it may be the upcoming sin, upcoming or failure in life, we should face everything in a brave manner. One glimpse of brighter sky. So glimpse means a quick look. Quick look towards the life. We need to think about the past and we need to think about the future. To make this life worthwhile, we should turn our life into a valuable and precious thing. It must be a purposeful one. So, and a heaven a server heritage. So, heritage means inheritance. We should lead a successful life. Okay. So, it is your memory poem. Once again, I, I read. You must learn. Every soul that touches yours. Every soul that touches yours. Be it the slightest contact. Be it the slightest contact. Get there from some good. Get there from some good. Some little grace. Some little grace. One kindly thought. One kindly thought. One aspiration yet unfelt. One aspiration yet unfelt. One bit of courage. One bit of courage for the darkening sky. One gleam of faith. One gleam of faith. To brave the thickening ills of life. One glimpse of brighter skies. One glimpse of brighter skies. To make this life worthwhile. And heaven a certain heritage. Written by George Eliot. Now let us see figures of speech in the poem. Figures of speech, repetition. So repetition is a literary device. Repetition is a literary device that repeats the same words of phrase. Repeats the same words of phrases a few times to make an idea clearer. To make an idea clearer and more memorable. It is used to emphasize a feeling or idea. 
create rhythm and bring attention to an idea so let us see the examples the woods are lovely dark and deep dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so it is the famous poem written by robert frost the road not taken so this is an extract so this is the last answer from the poem road not taken so here in this poem the last two lines are repeated again and again and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so we call it as repetition okay so repetition is a literary device that repeats the same words or phrases whether it is same word in the line or the lines alternate again and again so same words or phrases a few times to make an idea clearer and more memorable it is used to emphasize a feeling or idea create rhythm and bring attention to an idea so here these two lines and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so these lines repeated again and again so we call it as repetition okay so that's all about today class so meet you in the next class thank you